Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. So let's take a look and see what messages are coming in for you. Okay, bear with me. There's a few cards that have fallen out. Um, and it feels like there's some sense of urgency with some of these messages. Okay. Oops. The last card here. At the bottom of the deck is the Empress Energy. Okay, that's better. Um, Empress Energy, it feels like you're definitely... Um, you, you seem more confident here. You seem more confident in yourself. You're more radiant. You're more glowing. Um, I feel like you're especially attractive right now. Um, maybe you've done something to switch up your look. Maybe you've done something to... Maybe you've just been working on yourself and it shows, um, whether internally or externally. But you're definitely coming across as more attractive to people around you. Your head's turning. Um, it's like there's a spotlight on you. And you're also stepping into this Empress energy where I feel like you're beginning to feel more and more comfortable with who you are and in your own skin. There's also an um, abundant energy about the Empress. So you could be attracting abundance into your life. You could be getting signs and confirmations of this abundance showing up in your life. Um, you could be receiving like abundant re uh, results. Um, you could be receiving like financial abundance. Or this is like your... Um, an abundance of like creative energy, creative flow. Um, but it's a wonderful energy to be in. It could also be a sign for you to spend, just a reminder for you to spend some more time outdoors. So going to the park or to the beach, just spend a little bit more time in nature so that you can connect and uh, you can connect to your center and you can align yourself. The Hierophant's energy I feel like there's something that you're definitely committing to or you're going to be committing to. Or if there's something that you've committed to um, quite consistently and ongoingly, I feel like you're going to be seeing ongoingly. Is that a word? I don't think so. I kind of just made that up, I think. Um, I feel like you're going to be seeing results and I feel like you're going to be seeing a lot of momentum, a lot of um, movement forward so if you feel like you've been working on something and it's plateaued or if you feel like you haven't necessarily seen results whatever this is whether it's a project um, whether it's a business or whether it's like a personal goal of some sort you're trying to achieve and work on you're going to see results um, and there's going to be recognition there's going to be like people praising you people are noticing you and the hard work that you've been putting in so it's it's something is finally coming in for you something is something that you've been working on is finally coming in and i feel like the results especially like the closer it gets to this thing um being finalized or being finished the the closer it gets i feel like the harder you're working on and i feel like the faster these results are going to come as well for some of you, I feel like there could be a new person that is going to show up in your life or a new connection that will have the potential to become romantic. So you might meet someone, um, you might already have met someone and um, you might have recently connected with this person, but it feels like feelings may be growing and it feels like there may be something there between you and this person. There is this instant chemistry or this instant attraction that you share with this person. There's also something very special about what the two of you have. For some of you, I feel like this person is a part of the new chapter because some of you are closing up chapters or old cycles and entering new ones. And this person feels like they're waiting for you in the new chapter, in the new cycle that lies in wait for you. Um, for others, I feel like this is like, even if it's like a past connection or someone from the past, um, I feel like you're going, um, you'll have the opportunity to maybe um, rekindle a connection, rekindle a romance with this person. But for the most part, it feels like it's someone that is new showing up in your life and someone that is very much a part of this new chapter, a new cycle that you're headed in. 
um, if you're already connected, if you're already in an existing relationship, it feels like your connection with this person is going to get deeper and it feels like things are about to get more serious. You may be taking your relationship to the next stage. Feelings may be growing. They might be moving in together. There's something here that happens that I think is bringing you closer together. So the more time you spend with each other, the more you get to know one another, the more that you, you know, um, like start liking one another or the more that you feel like you want to spend time with them um it definitely feels like there's something here between you and this person something special and there is this energy of something or someone bringing you closer together um i do think that there is some sort of reward uh promotion or recognition that is coming your way for something that for a job well done for something that you've been working on this could be career related or it could be like something that you do um it could be something personal like a personal accomplishment or a personal achievement of some sort um, any contests or competitions that you've entered or sub, uh, submitted like entry to i feel like you're going to place um place highly um you're gonna um and you're also going to even if you don't win the actual contest there is something about you or your work that you've submitted that is going to get noticed okay so I feel like there's something key that you've been working on very silently mind you but it's finally getting traction momentum or you're finally being appreciated or noticed for whatever this is um, I feel like you're coming into an energy of alignment and I feel like you're very close to finding something or finding someone um, this is important because it feels like you're, fi you're close to finding the one like or you're so close to finding the thing that you should be doing or the place that you belong in um, it just feels like you're very close to something so don't give up now because you're so close to you know what it is that you've been looking for or what it is that's been searching for you whatever you seek is also seeking you right so you're very close to something here you're very close to an energy of alignment and you might feel this intuitively you may feel that you know where you're headed is where you're supposed to be you may feel like i feel like this reading or this energy feels like it's confirmation that you are on the right track you're tracking right you're on the right track you're where you should be so don't stress um it feels like everything is unfolding in divine timing i also feel like there is some sort of fated situation or a fated encounter that is due to take place um something he just works out and it may seem like a coincidence um, but I definitely feel like it's divinely guided I definitely feel like you have you know this is divine and this is um, divine energy and source looking after you and I feel like you have been blessed and the universe has got your back and I feel like there's some sort of fated encounter where it may seem like happenstance but it's not it feels like it feels like the universe has your back and it feels like whatever this is this is fated it's, it's not accident it's not an accident it's not random it's not chance it feels like it's definitely a, a fated encounter of some sort um there is something here that i feel like you're definitely committing to now this is like contracts or signing for some of you i feel like there is talks of a marriage or there is talks of moving in together or there's talks of buying a home and so there's some sort of contract that you might be signing or some legal paperwork that you're going to have to go through um, or if you've finished something if you've worked on a project and you finish something and you you want to I don't know you want to send it off somewhere or you want someone to have a look at it there is there is something about you signing the paperwork or you protecting yourself and protecting your rights that is going to be very important i also feel like there's something here that is going to it feels like it's balancing itself out there's something here that is going to be working itself out it could be some sort of tension that is finally going to get resolved or some sort of disagreement that you've had with someone and there's been this kind of maybe resentful energy just hanging in the air there's something here that I feel like is finally going to get resolved and you're finally going to work through it or you'll finally you'll finally reach a solution to a problem like you'll finally figure it out I don't know why you weren't able to see the solution before maybe you know things were just a little cloudy um, 
maybe you were a little unfocused, I don't know, but finally something here, um, it gets figured out, it gets figured out and you are able to move on from it, okay, it no longer will have that, it no, will no longer have the power to bother you or to irritate you. Justice is also a card, a reminder to make sure that you act fair. So if you're dealing or if you're negotiating or if you're drawing contracts, if you're signing contracts, um, just, you know, in whatever capacity you're operating in here, it is an energy to remind you to be fair, right? To, to make sure that it's all fair for everyone, it's all equal for everyone. And just re remember that you wouldn't want, someone to like you wouldn't want someone if you wouldn't want someone to treat you that way it's not i guess it's it's important that you don't treat them that way right because karma is a thing um so yeah just a just a reminder to be fair to be fair um to to be equal or to divide something equally to yeah, to make sure everyone's on the same page and no one gets left behind. Um, I feel like you, some of you are making a decision about, I feel like it's a, like a job or something that you should be doing or a project that you're working on. You don't know what it is you need to get started or you may not be certain what decision you need to make. But it's, it's a bit of a kind of unfocused energy with the Seven of Chalices. And so it's about making a choice. But just remember when you commit to a choice, you cut yourself from, you cut yourself off from the other choice, right? So when you commit to, when you have to choose between A or B, if you commit to A, you have to cut yourself off from choice B. Um, so don't go so much, don't don't be so much in your head about it, right? Because not only are you committing to this choice, you're also committing to the consequences. And Seven of Chalices is also, uh, you know, it, it's there's a strong theme of illusion in this card. And so it's important for you to look past the glistening allure of illusion. Sometimes things are not as they seem. And sometimes things come in pretty shiny packaging, you know, wrapped with a pretty tidy little uh, bow. But underneath it, it's the substance, the content inside is not what it's, you know, um, talked up to be so make sure you look past that glistening allure of your illusion do not be fooled here don't be fooled by you know the pretty wrapping paper don't be fooled by the pretty bow don't be fooled by the fine print don't be fooled by someone who's you know batting their eyelashes at you look past the illusion the allure of illusion of whatever this is so basically look at something and see it for what it is rather than what you want it to be right that's important not only like in relationships but in career and just life in general um because i feel like there's something key your your head feels like it's caught in an illusion and look there's something here that i feel like you're dealing with and it feels like it's too it feels too real to be an illusion but it kind of is it kind of is. Um, and the strength card, I do think that there is some things here that you're going to have to lean on your strength for. Um, and I also feel like if you're starting out anything new, like a, a new relationship or a new job or, or a new opportunity that you're chasing, don't doubt yourself. With the strength card, I really feel like this is a reminder of how strong you are and how far you've come. And, you know, you, your strength, your resilience, um, your persistence so don't doubt yourself right you are absolutely cut out for whatever this is and you got this okay it may be scary taking the first step you know putting yourself out there um but don't worry because i feel like you you definitely have this it may be like a quiet strength or a quiet confidence about you but you definitely have this and people can pick up on this you just need to lean into it a little bit more you just need to believe in yourself a little bit more here um it's also embracing yourself. I feel like that's the other message that I get. It's important for you to, you know, if you want people to accept you as you are, it's important for you to do the same. It's important for you to accept you as you are, right? And some of you, I feel like, are 
you've been struggling in being comfortable in your own skin in really in accepting and embracing who it is that you are and I feel like the cards right now are asking you to lean into this accept yourself accept who you are embrace who you are or who who it is that you're becoming or who it is that you thought you were always going to become like embrace you so that the right person can do the same all right guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by subscribing bye for now